Hello my astro family, this is your August 2020 horoscope and things are getting interesting again. The war of the planets is beginning. The big players Saturn, Mars, Jupiter and Pluto will hold a difficult square aspect in the sky for almost two months starting from the middle of august things will heat up around the world i expect riots i expect rebellions i expect clashes between governments and people and things might get quite violent but on the personal level we're gonna look now how it's going to affect you in the personal level and i'll give you suggestions and remedies so don't worry personally everyone usually has higher vibration than collectively so we can do much better with those challenging aspects plus there is a huge cosmic release of karma in certain area of your life where things are completing and ending we'll talk about that the the galactic center aligns with the planet of karma uh, huge things <laughs> but before i start i just wanted to let you know that my first book my first electronic book is out uh, it's about the planetary aspects in the natal horoscopes interpretation say if you're born when Jupiter was conjunct the Sun or square Venus or whatever all those explanations are there I wrote it with my teacher over uh, it took us one year so it's now discounted for the first two weeks whoever orders it uh, it's very affordable price so I'm excited <laughs> my first ever book and also we're doing a webinar on August the 13th with Krasi how to interpret your Babylonian horoscope how to interpret your natal horoscope according to the ancient method it's going to be five six hours very practical we'll work with personal charts of the people there we will give uh, we'll, we'll give like uh, we'll read uh, personal lives and examples so it's going to be very hands-on so now let's Let's begin <laughs> with August 2020. Aries, Sun, Moon arising August 2020. August will be a month for you guys to renew the fifth house of your horoscope because there will be a new moon towards the 18th of August so the next two weeks after the 18th there will be a renewal of your fifth house which is about romance about having fun some of you might even meet a romantic partner new moon means new beginning and there it, it happens exactly with mercury there so some of you might meet a younger romantic partner for example or someone who is more youthful who is very chatty very funny for example or if you're already in a relationship this can mean renewal of the romance there especially by doing some hobby together which is mercury by finding something fun to do together which is mercury games some games to play uh, some trip to take for example or <clears throat> some conversations they might be renewed through important conversations affectionate emotional conversations that you share with a loved one also it can mean a new beginning in the life of your children is the fifth house of some sort especially towards the end of august for some of you it can indicate that the news of a child for others can indicate new chapter in the life of your child that is happening especially connected with mercury with education with knowledge with some skill with work uh, fifth house is also our creative project and our hobbies. Some of you might be reinventing yourself by discovering a new passion, a new hobby, especially mercurial, some mercurial one, which is about uh, taking a course or learning something, uh, which is about uh, some skill with the hands that you, you take up. It might be knitting or it might be, you know, uh, something to do with fashion. Whatever it is, it's something it's something to do with the mind, with skills. It's a hobby that you might become passionate about. And fifth house is also creative um, activities, creative uh, undertakings. So some of you might start like a new creative project. It might be a business or it might be just pleasure creative project uh, where you have to use your imagination, where you have to use your own original ideas. That will be renewed that you they'll start sparking up around the 18th of august you'll start feeling it and after that maybe a little bit before and after uh, till almost to the mi middle of september and those creative ideas or those projects that you start uh, as i said they'll be your own original babies your own original ideas uh, they might be connected with mercury with business with marketing with advertising with skills with arts and crafts of some sort uh, with websites, with writing, with speaking, <laughs> you know, a lot of options with uh, this Mercury. I think it's quite a good new moon. 
But let's speak about the most important event this month. Okay, and that will be that Saturn and Mars are starting to create a square uh, and it's going to hold to almost the middle of October. We're going to have two months or 45, 50 days, a very tight configuration in the skies. So it's, uh, it's going to be tough, but it's going to be a great opportunity to, because the square aspects about, are about action and about changes. Um, so, you know, changes, they're difficult, especially when it's the toughest planets in the horoscope, in, the, in, the, in astrology. So let's see how it can play out. So there is like Mars will square from August, from the middle. You're going to start feeling the tension, the escalation of, 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 let's say, pressure building up from the middle of the month and it will carry on for almost two months. But it's starting to happen uh, between the planet Mars in Aries, which is in your first house, of course, <laughs> directly impacting you and uh, Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto in your 10th house of career. So how can it play out? First of all, you are Aries, and you and Mars represents you. So you might be trying to start something new, because Mars passing through your house, whether it's your sun or ascendant in Aries or moon, you get an impetus to start doing something new, to get a move on. It's a, it, it gives a burst for initiative, especially something that is more progressive, you know, something that you haven't done before. But Mars encounters blockage, or let's say the square aspect is you basically encounter some kind of resistance from Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto, and Capricorn in the 10th house of authority figures for you. So maybe from your boss, you, you, you have some idea, you want to start something new, but your boss is putting kind of like, it's questioning you, it's doubting you, it's slowing you down, you know, or uh, maybe you want to start something new in your personal life, but your work and worldly responsibilities are very heavy with Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto in that 10th house of work and responsibility. And because you have a lot of duties, a lot of pressure from your job, from your work, or from your business, whatever it is, the 10th house is whatever your career is in your worldly activities. Uh, and, and that is putting a strain on you. And it might be that increase responsibility of having to complete something because Saturn is moving retrograde to complete, to do something again, to put final touches, to really work on some career project, for example, to get back to finish something in your career. And that's putting pressure maybe even on your physical body, on your freedom of movement, because Mars is in your first house, yourself. So it might be putting pressure on, okay, you might want to do something else, to be more active, to be, you know, to be doing some other things on your own, but because of worldly responsibility, it puts pressure on you. So you have to be a bit more careful about your health for the next two months. Uh, areas, especially areas that are born in the second part, basically the April born areas, or especially the ones that are from the 10th of April, or even from the 5th of April, till around the 20th of April. They'll feel this tension the most, especially the ones from the 10th to around the 20th of April will feel it most intensely if it's your sun sign in Aries or if it's your moon or rising, it's from around the 20th degree, the big tension to around the 30th with the 25th being the most intense, 25th degree. So you have to kind of do both things. You, your body will push you, you know, your, your life circumstances will push you to, um, uh, and it, it can be frustrating, but you, you, you have to do maybe some physical exercise if your areas to release the pressure of this Mars in your first house, uh, maybe to be more active in nature and so on, uh, because your worldly responsibilities will be quite heavy. Uh, 10 houses, also institutions, governments. You might be really resisting people in authority in some way, you might be having some uh, conflict or coming to some impasse that you have to resolve over the next two months with father figures, with authority figures, with bosses, with institutions, with bureaucratic rules and regulations. This is the 10th house of any sort. Uh, and some structure, some of you might be in their own business, restructuring something in their business, working very hard, that puts pressure on their life, on the, their physical body as well, but they're the initiators, they're the leaders, so they'll have to resolve those issues. And at the end, by the end of this whole period, around November, December, 
you might come with really spectacular results in regards to your career once you have resolved those problems there and in regards to your personal health in regards to your physical body you might have initiated some very powerful new beginnings in your life but Aries will be one of the signs that feels it the most Aries people will be the one that actually want to push to new things while they're getting resistance uh, from outdated structures uh, from governments from institutions or from bosses or just lots of pressure from their work and they have to reconcile those two on another level there is another important event which is the south node is passing through the galactic center the mother of all creation the big hole black hole in the middle of our galaxy which is where everything comes from and the south node is the past karma we carry all the pain body the karma we drag around with us you know and the south uh, the, and it passes through the galactic center in august and it happens once every 19 years only so this is a very very rare alignment and especially around august maybe into september you have a rare opportunity to release a big burden uh, that you are carrying especially in regards to this you know to, to whatever house your natal south node is in. Uh, for example, if your south node is in your first house natal, you can release a big burden of a health problem or physical, of some physical nature. If it's in your seventh house, release big karma connected to your relationships. But generally it's happening in your ninth house, so uh, where the galactic center is and the south node is passing there. So you're releasing and you have a chance to raise your consciousness. The ninth house is the house of higher consciousness some of you might even channel ketu is very spiritual very psychic the galactic center is where all the information comes from the highest information some of you might align themselves to really high level of spiritual knowledge and a kind of a realization deep psychological uh, not only like spiritual realization about life world but it's about releasing your pain body connected with outdated beliefs and ideologies and it can happen through crisis it can be quite turbulent because uh, uh, the galactic center is very turbulent it's uh, it's very fiery so it's the south node so it's kind of like in like like bursting and conflict conflict Conflict, like like an explosion in your mind in your conscience uh which which is connected to suddenly like almost like awakening and seeing reality from a different perspective but there is a lot happening in regards to your beliefs ideologies whether it's your political beliefs whether the is the way you see reality through what kind of lenses you see them and uh and by the end of this process a lot of you might feel like wow i was blind till now and i was asleep and now i see <laughs> uh, reality is something very different than i believe then nothing makes such big evolutionary jumps in your life as a huge change in your belief system especially burning those old belief systems that are, uh, that are blocking you and again as i said it can happen through some kind of crisis unfortunately it's very turbulent energy the galactic center and the south node uh, but uh, awakening is there and it can uh, for example you can be released from uh, xenophobic or racial uh, kind of um, you know prejudices of any sort or the ninth house rules as well not only foreign people uh, and other races but it also rules uh, abundance your beliefs and understanding about abundance and how the universe works uh, and uh, the law of attraction, all of those things are ruled by the ninth house. So there can be some powerful thing that clicks in your mind connected to all those things, to abundance, to luck, to God, to reality, what is reality. So fun, fun, fun. And last but not least, let's see, Venus will be in your uh, fourth house for a big part of August. So it's, it's wherever Venus goes, things are good there. And for a short period only, but being in your fourth house a family which means something good and positive and in an easy way can happen in regards to property <coughs> place of living you might find perfect furniture you might decorate and make it very nice there or work in your garden some of you might relocate very easily to a new place so some of you might connect with family and have good times on family picnics or get-togethers 
you know so this this is your safe haven in august in part of august uh time at home uh with loved ones with family something good may be happening there with property and such thank you so much Aries. <laughs> interesting interesting times you might feel quite challenged by the squares to your planet mars by saturn and jupiter but you can get a lot done uh you can get a lot down just you have to do it a little bit from the start of august don't rush too much Try to fulfill the demands of Saturn as well. Do it by the book. Do it by the rules. Follow the rules. Um, and progress slowly in small steps. And when you're frustrated because we want to move, move, move forward like Aries and Mars being in our sign, take a breather. Go for a walk sometime. Somewhere spend time with your family, you know. Or use that fifth house activation. Go have a party. Go do some hobby, which the Leo energy is activating. Thank you.